So just making a quick little video update, taking Lance for a walk at the park right now. Look at that dog and look how empty the park is. Good social distancing right now. Although I just realized the park might technically be closed, but I do see someone else coming now. But I think just walking through the trails and stuff is fine. I see someone sitting at a bench down there. It's very kind of airy though. Granted, right now it would be a school day, so there wouldn't be much people out here. I think you just can't like play in the parks. So technically in Illinois, this would be what, day three of the shutdown because it's Monday or day two and a half because it started like on Sunday or Saturday at five. So, but that wasn't a full day. So I don't know if that really counts. Although Tim and I are not on shutdown. Even though my store is a liquor store, it was deemed essential to stay open, which kind of sucks because I don't really think it's worth getting sick um, to sell liquor right now, especially when the grocery stores out here sell liquor and the gas stations and every place else. However, I was very upset the other day about it. And just mentally, because of being pregnant, I was not handling this last week too well. It was very stressful just going to work and having to constantly like clean everything and wipe my hands. And you know, every single time you have a customer come in, but they did cut our hours now. So I'm feeling a little bit better. They cut our hours to be only open from 12 to five. So that's only five hours of actual like exposure to customers. I mean, of course you don't know if you're coworkers or anything, but that's a little bit better. And I mostly work in the back during the week I get deliveries. So during the deliveries, like I feel a little safer because I'm in back and I have more control over the back there. And it's like, yeah, there's the delivery drivers coming in, but they're not really touching my stuff. And I do keep wiping it down. So I'm gonna attempt to do this week, see what happens. They did close us for one day on Sunday, just to kind of give everyone a break. And I was supposed to work Sunday, so I'm just not making up that day. So I ended up having um, so yesterday, Sunday off, today off, and then I'm gonna have Saturday off. So I'm only doing four days this week. One of my days is not even a full day. The other days are because of deliveries, but most of the time I'm there, the store's not open. Only a few hours out of the time I'm there, the store's actually open. So we'll see what happens. Um, next week I do get more paid time off. My renewal date comes. So at some point I probably will take a week or two off if this continues getting worse. It's not just because of me being pregnant. We also live with Tim's parents and they are immunocompromised. They do have a lot of health issues and I don't want to bring it home to them either. So it is that scary thing like, again, is selling liquor worth the risk of this right now? We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna kinda see, and like also too, hopefully, cause on Friday, everyone thought that we were gonna be closed. So we were jam packed. People were stocking up on like carts full of liquor. So my hope is, is that maybe we won't even be that busy. And maybe people are actually listening to the shelter in place order. And if there's not a lot of people coming in, it's not as scary. I think we do have it limited where only 50 people can be in the store at a time. But yeah, we'll see. I'm just kind of kind of take it day by day or week by week right now. Lance, of course, is loving this. Getting to know his nice little walk. Hardly anyone out here. We were going to originally do a um, every day of the shutdown video or like little vlog of what we're doing. But now that we're working or I mean, the last few days, I just haven't mentally been feeling the best. Tim's job was going to be shut down this week. But then they were deemed essential too because he sells, um, well, they rent out equipment to do like environmental testing to companies and a bunch of the companies they do it for, some are government and some are just other companies that are deemed essential or companies that are people are working from home. So they still are monitoring equipment and still need equipment or need him to fix equipment. But his job is kind of like a week by week basis too, kind of seeing like, do we have enough work for you guys or not? So at some point he might be shut down. We'll see. So nice and peaceful out there. The scary thing about that though, what really sucks is like how I'm like most people, we need the money and with the baby on the way, it's kind of like, I don't feel safe going to work, but what am I gonna do? I need the money. And then when I go on my maternity leave, it's unpaid. So I'm gonna have three months of no pay at all. So it's like, trying to work as much as I can right now, save up money. 
we bought our first pack of diapers the other day. I'm not gonna like hoard them or anything. If there's only like a few on the shelf, I'm not gonna take any. But we just bought one pack the other day of newborn ones. So I figure if we start getting some of that now slowly, hopefully if we do end up being without jobs or not making money for a while, we will be okay. Yeah, so I still might try to do a little vlog like this every day, just kind of giving little updates. Um, like I just said the last week mentally, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with the pregnancy hormones and all that. I just mentally wasn't the best and each day after work, I kind of was exhausted and just wanted to lay down and not think about things. My problem is, is like when I'm at home, I'm not as bad, but when I'm at work, that's when I start to overthink. I'm a lot more shy in person. I'm not super social at work. So I kind of just do my work and stick to myself. And then my mind goes crazy and I think crazy things. We'll see what happens. Take it day by day. Kind of mind. I mean, I do think it is going to get a lot worse. I think a lot of people probably are already infected and don't realize it. So I'm just going to, that's why I'm trying to also save the time I do have off for when it gets worse if we don't close down. Um, at this point, I know they have no you know, indication of closing down, but I'm like, if suddenly things got really bad out there, I would think maybe they would have to or cut down the hours more. We'll see what happens. I might even see if like, if I do decide to go next week, I might see if I could take a day off and only do four days, which also I forgot to mention. The one thing that my job is being good about actually, was I've read other people, like, especially in the pregnancy groups, where their jobs are like basically being like, no, you can't take off at all. Even if you're immunocompromised or whatever, you're gonna lose your job. My job is allowing us to not go if we don't want to, but we just won't get paid unless we have paid time off. So they are very, they are being very understanding and we are getting paid time and a half for the days that we do go in. So they are working a little more with us than other places. So I am really appreciative of that, but I still think overall we probably should have been closed down, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll start to post up some videos of, um, I guess still got to do our trip. Still actually got to do our trip in August, or from October. I thought I would be posting all the Disneyland videos, but then like literally like what, like this started happening like a week or two after we got back from Disneyland. So we'll see, but yeah, at least these little vlogs I'll probably start posting every day. So come back, please like and subscribe and check out what's going out in Illinois. Be dog walking, does not know what is going on out there. Not a care in the world. Do, 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 do. Lance. <laughs>